Long ago, in a time of ancient, timeless time, when mystical warriors roamed the land, the most awesome kung fu fighters in all of China, the Furious Five, protected the Valley of Peace. But soon would appear a fighter of such extreme skill and legendary bodacity that even the Furious Five would bow in respect to this amazing hero, the Dragon Warrior. To tell that story, we must go back, back to the beginning, when the Dragon Warrior was just a dream. Okay, he was just totally dreaming. Legend tells of a legendary warrior whose kung fu skills were the stuff of legend. He traveled the land in search of worthy foes. The warrior smelled fear in the air, but he knew it wasn't coming from him because he was totally confident. Oh, Hey, get back here, rabbit! We're not done with you yet! Better stand back, little guy. Once I unleash my total awesomeness, even I cannot be held responsible for what happens. Great work, son! Who knew you would be such a kung fu master? Clearly, the warrior's dad had underestimated him. Perhaps, then, you are ready for this! Not even the toughest of enemies were a match for his sheer bodacity. Well, well, who do we have here? I am the Dragon Warrior. Now step aside, bad guy. The warrior's reputation for being the best of the best, of the best, of the best, followed him wherever he went. I see you like to chew! Perhaps you like to chew on my fist! Enough talk. Let's fight! Don't let him get away! There is no escape! Shashabui! Even when faced with the legendary Sword of Heroes, the warrior didn't flinch because he was that much of a master. The master's reflection in the Sword of Heroes looked especially brave today. It's him! Not him! Yes, him! Oh no! Oh yes! Oh, shut up! Let's go! I am Kai Lung, and you are no master! <laughs> hey, what? Son, quit daydreaming. I got four orders for my famous secret ingredient soup and only two hands! Come on! Okay, Dad. And I was just getting to the good part. Okay, so even though the warrior dreamed of being a kung fu master, he knew he had a little work to do. I mean, he had some moves, but he wasn't exactly, you know, a kung fu legend yet. Unfortunately, his dad wanted him to be more like the master of noodles. Still, the warrior totally knew that one day he'd be legendary, like the greatest of kung fu heroes, the Furious Five who, it turned out, were about to compete in the ultimate tournament of Kung Fu explosiveness to see which of them would be named the Dragon Warrior. Oh yeah. The warrior knew he had to see the five in action, and nothing was going to stand in his way. Okay, well, almost nothing. Uh, oh, yeah. Ha-ha! <laughs> Woo! Huh? Oh no! No, no, no! Wait! Stop! Don't close the doors. Okay, here! Use the ballista! That should clear a way for you to get in. Ah! Wait! It's a five! Yeah! Oh, so freaking awesome! Wait! Oh no! Oh no! you hadn't shown up, you can use this ballista here to blast open those bags of confetti and clear a path into the arena. 
Oh, sweet! Thanks, little guys! Yeah, that's using the old noodle. I am Tigress, master of the tiger style. I am ready to fight! The dragon warrior is among us. Citizens of the Valley of Peace, Master Ugwe will now choose the dragon warrior. I just wanted to see who the Dragon Warrior is. Uh, Master, are you pointing at me? Him? Who? You. The universe has brought us the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> Yay! Oh! Me? Okay, so this is where the legend of the Dragon Warrior really takes off. See, Master Uwe was sure the universe had brought them the Chosen One. But Master Shifu was kind of a tough sell. He didn't really think the warrior was who he was supposed to be. He thought maybe it was all kind of an accident. So did the five. Actually, even the hero was a little surprised. But when the warrior finally saw the Furious Five in action, oh yeah, he totally knew he was in the right place. Whoa, awesome! Focus. You will begin here, with these combat dummies. Oh, okay. I just ate. I'm still digesting, so my kung fu might not be as good as later on. Just hit it. After you eliminate each dummy, I will light a torch. When all of the torches are lit, I will give a signal and the door will open to the next area. Understand? Totally. So you think you're the Dragon Warrior? Uh... uh. <laughs> Listen, I will say nothing against Master Ugwe, and I don't know how you managed to get this far, but let me put it this way. I think my record is safe. Well, look who made it. Not bad for a panda, I mean. Thanks, Master Monkey. Wow, I just thank Master Monkey. But that last room was a mere warm-up for this one. I'd like to see you break my record. Looking for me, Poe? Master v Viper? Wow. You even know my name. Of course I do. But I'm afraid your good fortune is about to run out. This is my room and my record. Both are unbeatable. I must say, I'm surprised to see you. That wasn't so bad. You know, I've seen worse. Yeah, all the time. I just use my fancy kung fu moves, is all. Do not be fooled, Panda. You still have a long way to go if you are indeed the Dragon Warrior, as Master Ugwe believes. Okay. 
So, how much time do you think this is gonna take? A long, long, long time. Oh. As the hero trained, his legend spread across the land, even reaching the dark depths of Chorgom Prison, where Tai Lung waited. When Tai Lung heard that someone else would be granted the Dragon Scroll, he burned with rage! He knew it was time to escape and claim what was rightfully his. But first, he'd send Shifu a message. As Zhang, the palace goose, flew home to tell Master Shifu of Tai Lung's escape, a dark storm gathered. Soon Tai Lung would return, and when he did, it would determine the fate of the Valley of Peace. I'm so hungry right now. We haven't robbed anyone in days. Ooh, looks like our luck is about to change. <laughs> oh my goodness, help! Hey Zhang, you okay? They, they just, they just winged me. I have news for Master Shifu. Must, must get to the palace. Okay, take it easy. I've got you. Next stop, the Jade Palace. Master Shifu, I have news. Tylung is free. He escaped from Shorgum Prison. He's coming here, here to get the Dragon Scroll. Ah! He will take Tai Lung some time to get here. We must see to the village at once. Okay, guys, uh, sounds great. Let me just grab a snack so I can uh, build up my... Uh, G. Okay, I guess I'll just talk to you guys when you get back. Ah! Oh, Intruder! Oh, Intruder! Oh, More! 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 Stop it! Oops! Uh-oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Panda? How dare you challenge the Black Hoof Boar Clan? What happened here? I see. You did well, Panda. I did? I mean, yeah, I did. Cause you know, I used my super panda bamboo awesomeness and yeah, I was only pretending to be asleep. And you know, these guys came in, and I went, Watch out! Focus! I need you to focus. While we were in the village, we heard that the Croc Gang has invaded Lotus Lake. Word is starting to spread about Tai Lung. We've got to do something. Master Crane, why don't you and Poe go see what you can find out? Whoa! Me and Master Crane? Oh, no! oh, let, me find let me get my stuff! Me and Crane are going on a mission! Woo! With the Jade Palace safe and the Black Hoof Boar clan defeated, the Dragon Warrior, there, I said it, was feeling pretty good. Maybe now Master Shifu would start to see his awesomeness. Nope, Master Shifu totally stiffed him. He was worried about other stuff, like the Imperial Golden Croc Gang. But Master Shifu didn't know yet that the Crocs invaded Lotus Lake for a reason. See, they knew the legend of Tai Lung. Now that he was out, it was time to get on his good side. And so, the Dragon Warrior and Master Crane, who were about to step into totally insane danger, started out on the trail towards Lotus Lake. Master Crane, and you must be Poe. We've heard about you. Thank goodness you're here. Oh, it's been awful. The crocodiles, they're everywhere. They're trying to steal our hatchling eggs. Crocs? I'm really more of a boar specialist. Uh, Master Crane handles crocs. Ahem. <clears throat> Master Shifu said this is for you to do, Poe. My Poe. 
You must be an experienced warrior. Well, uh... But you have years of training. Well, uh... Okay, then how are you at finding eggs? Eggs? Me? Tops. Well then, that's the plan. You're on foot. I'll search overhead. Good luck. Okay then. Goodbye, Poe. I'll meet you on the other side of the lake. Wait, other side? What? What have we here? Egg Master Poe! Um, I really wish you wouldn't say that so loud. It's kind of not kung fu -y sounding, you know? The Crocodile Queen has set up her lair in the town plaza. We must get there fast. Quick, hop on! Is there a weight limit? Because I may have put on a pound or two. Don't worry. Just keep your balance. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Shh. Oh, hello. Who dares to wake me? Hang on, little guy. Sergeant! Sergeant! <laughs> Woohoo! I'm lighter than air. Not to me. Stop them! Master, you have returned. And with a baby hatchling. Thank you. You are a true hero. Um, I, I helped, you know. Oh, yeah. Good flapping. Uh, oh. Aw, cute little guy. Since the awesome Dragon Warrior had defeated the Croc Gang's toughest guy and broke their hold over Lotus Lake, he began to get, you know, sort of a reputation. Even Master Shifu began to take notice. Phew! Finally! But even though he began to see something in the Dragon Warrior, the five didn't, especially Tigress, who totally wanted to take on Tai Lung herself. So Master Shifu led the Chosen One deep into the Wudan Mountains, which everybody knows is where Master Ugwe invented Kung Fu. Oh, that is totally freaking awesome! Anyway, Shifu had an idea. If the Chosen One couldn't be trained same as the Five, he was going to try something, you know, more on his level. Hey, I'm getting kind of hungry. Just one more ledge, Paul. Uh, I know you're trying to be all mysterious and Kung Fu-y, but where are we going? Behold. Wu Dan Temple, built in honor of Master Ugwe's discovery of Kung Fu. There, you will find the ancient relics of the original Kung Fu forms, figures shaped from the jewels and living jade from this mountain. Many great warriors met their fate, attempting to reach Wu Dan and unlock the mystical secrets of these relics. Oh, must be a pretty good secret. Hmm, looks peaceful enough. Hmm. Great Gorilla and his minions. Huh? The Great Who and his what's? Move out! Now! <laughs> when Tai Lung was imprisoned, the Gorilla army was finally banished from these hills. As feared, with his escape, they are back. They must be kept from finding the relics and destroying the temple. Cool, uh, let's come back when he's not so angry. Now! Those gorillas have no respect for Kung Fu. They are only here to plunder the riches from this land, and they will destroy the temple and relics to do so. We will not allow that, will we? No, sir! Master, sir! What? A panda? Impossible. You there! This is my territory! 
What are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Your ginormousness, ness. Uh, especially not looking for any super sacred kung fu relics. What the? Heads up! No! The relics! After him, Poe! Shibuya! How you like panda style, baby? Well done! Woo! You did not suck. Gee, thanks. The Dragon Warrior had defended the Wudan Mountains and the Sacred Relics. Uh, with Master Shifu's help, of course. But the gorillas were still a mean bunch. Sure, they didn't have their leader anymore, but they weren't gonna go down that easy. In fact, it was now even more likely that they'd try and cozy up to Tai Lung. Master Shifu knew time was running out. He had to get the sacred relics and the increasingly awesome dragon warrior back to the palace and regroup with the five. Uh, Master Shifu, how much further is it to the palace? One step closer than the last time you asked. Hey, what's this? Trouble. It's just an old bridge. I don't see anything. Because you are not looking. If you were, you would have seen the goose. What goose? Ah! Ah! Wait! Maybe you guys can help! The Croc Gang has taken Pagoda Island! They're holding the others captive! Mm. I understood that you and Master Crane had overpowered them earlier and restored order. We did, Master. Me and Master Crane, we saved those cute little tortoise guys and totally kicked some ugly gator butt. You should have seen it! All right, then. You can go first. I will take the relics for safekeeping and meet you on the island. We leave at once. Well, I am glad to see you finally made it. Hey, you had a boat. All this jumping around isn't as easy as I make it look, you know? <laughs> of that I am sure. Now, get over here and fend off these crocodiles. I am needed up ahead. Uh, right, Master Shifu. On my way to, uh, Fen! Make sure you check the pagoda for prisoners, then meet me at the river's entrance. Check. Time to eat panda paw crocodilios. Wah! Not bad. I take it the croc gang has been defeated this time. Totally. They begged me not to use my flying butt drop technique. Did it anyway. What next, Chief? I have just received word that the Furious Five had left the palace to comfort Tai Lung on their own. We have got to make our way to the end of the river. And, uh, don't call me Chief. Aye, aye, Captain. Got it. Uh, bring any snacks for this voyage? The five are heading for a remote and treacherous part of the Wudan Mountains to meet Tai Lung in single combat. Wow! Single combat? Well, why not all together? Since they're, uh, together. Crazy. <sighs> this is my fault. I must go to them while there is still time. You, you will continue on to the palace with the sacred relics. It is safe to assume you know the way, right? Ah! Absolutely. No problem. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, over there. That way, right? Um, you wouldn't happen to know the way to the palace, would you? Even though the Dragon Warrior had prevailed against the Imperial Golden Croc Gang, there was bigger stuff happening. The Five had gone to fight Tai Lung themselves. But as awesome as they were, Shifu knew they were no match for Tai Lung. He had to find them. By now, word of Tai Lung's escape had reached the Lang Shadow Army, the most sinister, snarling, stealth-fighting wolves in China. Yeah, those guys. They knew Tai Lung from his time in the Outlands. And if he was back, he 
it's time to turn the Valley of Peace into the Valley of Pieces. But Tai Lung just wanted the Dragon Scroll and to fight this so-called Chosen One. He didn't expect the Furious Five showing up, which they did, and challenging him to a fight, which there was, and it was the most impossibly high-leaping kung fu righteousness ever! Very amusing. But are those really the best Chifu has? There is only one who is worthy to fight me. So where is this dragon warrior? How do you know it's not me? You? <laughs> you forget, I was there at the beginning, when you were just a young cub. Are you the favorite now? <laughs> All right. Anyone else? Yeah! Me! Okay. Leave it to the little guy. Wasn't so tough. Think we should celebrate? Are you kidding? Chief who taught you well, but not well enough. Too late, Shifu. Tai Lung has defeated the Veiled Five. Master Shifu, you came! I am sorry, Master. We failed you. No, it is I who failed you. Go back to the palace. I will soon follow. Master Shifu, thank you for getting me out. How did you slip in here? The greater question is, how will you slip out? I am sending you back to the palace. Be careful. Go. Thank you, Master Shifu. I can't stay in bars. Yes, very ironic. I suppose you're angry with us for leaving and fighting Tai Lung on our own. What I feel is of no consequence. It is what I do that matters now. Go back to the palace and join the others. Master. Here, kitty, kitty, back kitty. Off. I said back off! Are you badly injured? Thank you. I'm okay, Master Shifu. Then I need you to head back to the palace to continue Poe's training. Aren't you coming with me? Not yet. Attack! Furious Five defeated, Tai Lung was now one step closer to the Dragon Scroll. And if Master Shifu got in the way, Tai Lung would finally avenge being denied his destiny of becoming the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> I want my scroll! Not good. Master Shifu knew that if Tai Lung got the Dragon Scroll, limitless power would finally be his. He couldn't let that happen. All they could do now was trust Master Ugwe's choice. Only the true Dragon Warrior could stand up to Tai Lung and bring peace. But nobody ever said the Dragon Warrior would be good at directions. In fact, by now, he was totally lost. Even worse, he had wandered into the base camp of the Wu Sisters, the most lethal ninja cat fighting force in the known universe! Okay, this is the last time I try hiking. I'm tired, hungry, and I feel like I'm walking in circles. Wait a sec. Look at that. Huts. Maybe someone there has directions. Or at least a snack. Okay, this is the last time I try hiking. I'm tired, hungry, and I feel like I'm walking in circles. 
Wait a sec. Look at that. Huts. Maybe someone there has directions. Or at least a snack. Anyone mention anything to you about a panda? No pandas. Better make this quick. If anything interferes with Tai Lung's return, the Wu sisters will be wearing our skins come winter. Did you say the Wu sisters? Masters of the spinning 12 paw strike? Whoa! Mmm, smells good. Man, I must have missed dinner. And I'm starving. Hello? Excuse me? Anyone? I'm, uh, a little lost. And a lot hungry. Woo, sisters. Well, well, well. Look what we have here, sisters. A big lost panda who's so sad. And, uh, don't forget hungry. What can we do to help this big lost panda so hungry for information that he'd spy on our camp? What? Maybe we can help him find his way. <laughs> Thanks. I'll find my own way. This so big, so sad, and so lost panda. <laughs> He's saying so long. Oh, sweet! A map! Now maybe I can figure out how to get back to the pilot. The legend of the Dragon Warrior takes many twists and turns. The warrior's journey took him through many trials and through many lands where he faced many enemies. But even though it was said that he wandered vast wastelands in the footsteps of other less mighty and less awesome fallen heroes, they say that his courage knew no bounds. Neither did his greatness or his stamina. They say he was unstoppable. A totally unstoppable fighting force of extraordinary Kung Fu mastery. Although the Kung Fu master was hot, tired, and completely lost, nothing could stop our hero. Oh, I am so disappointed. So hungry. Paul. Paul. What? Where? What? Rise, Dragon Warrior. It is time for you to fulfill your destiny. M Master Uguay, is that really you? Of course. Why do you ask? Uh, well, you're sort of floating there. And you're covered in massively glowy stuff. Yes? And then there's... Hey, where did you get that cookie? Yes, Dragon Warrior. Follow your instincts. Follow the cookies. The mystery of this place shall be revealed to you. Follow the cookies, Dragon Warrior. Almond cookies. All right, cookies, here I come. Come on! Go, 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 go! And... Yeah! At last, the secrets of the almond cookie will be revealed. Why have you come here? Gah! It's you! I, I mean, you're him! I, Why I mean... have you come to my training ground? You, you tr tr Oh... Why?! I came, came for the cookies? Hey! Whoa! 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 <clears throat> hey! I'm okay! I'm okay! Okay, I'm not okay. Whoa! 
awesome maps and strategic stuff. Cool! No way! The Wuxi finger hole! Perfected by Master Wuxi in the Fourth Dynasty. What's this doing here? It is for you, Dragon Warrior. Is that you, Master Uguay? Time for you to fulfill your destiny. So, uh, no cookies, huh? Hello? It is said that when the Dragon Warrior returned and saw the Furious Five defeated, Master Shifu did the only thing left that could stop Tai Lung. He presented the Dragon Scroll to the Dragon Warrior. Oh, sweet! But, uh, the Dragon Scroll was blank. What? Oh, uh, however, it is also said that even though it was blank, it had a meaning so mystical and awesome that nobody understood it. Oh, great. <sighs> okay, so with Tai Lung closing in, the Dragon Warrior left with the scroll, thinking that Tai Lung would chase its awesome ultimate power forever, um, even though it was blank, and leave the village in peace. Now Master Shifu would face Tai Lung completely alone. Whoa! I have come home, Master. This is no longer your home, and I am no longer your master. Ah, yes. You have a new favorite. So where is this Poe? <laughs> Did I scare him off? This battle is between you and me. There doesn't have to be a battle. Just give me what is mine. Give me the Dragon Scroll. I cannot. <laughs> What? Where is the Dragon Scroll? Safe from you. We shall see. Tear this palace apart! It must be here. Find it. I want the Dragon Scroll! Tell me where you put it, old man. You are not the Dragon Warrior. It is not for you. For 20 years, I rotted in jail because of your betrayal. Now, give me what I deserve. You are not the Dragon Warrior. It is not for you. Enough! I will find it myself. Destroy him. Everything I did, I did to make you proud. Tell me how proud you are of me now, Shifu. Tell me! Tell me! And it was my pride that blinded me to what you were becoming. I... I am sorry. I don't want your pity, I want my scroll. For the last time, where is it? Far away from you. The real Dragon Warrior has taken it. You see, it is not your destiny. 
So the story goes that as every bad guy in China descended to loot the village and Tai Lung fought Shifu for the Dragon Scroll, true heroes were made that day. It is said that in order for a true hero to fulfill his destiny, he must face three overwhelming obstacles. His mistakes, his enemies, and his beginnings. Um, but it doesn't say anywhere in there how much going through all of that can totally and completely suck. Uh, Paul, I think it's time I told you something I should have mentioned a long time ago. Okay. The secret ingredient of my secret ingredient soup. Come here. The secret ingredient is... nothing. Wait, wait. It's just plain old noodle soup? You don't add some kind of special sauce or something? Don't have to. To make something special, you just have to believe it's special. It's all in the mind, son. There's no secret ingredient. Then that must be the message of the scroll. I just have to believe I'm the Dragon Warrior. I am the Dragon Warrior. Dad, I gotta go to the palace and help Master Shifu. Over here, son! Hey, get your paws off my dad. <laughs> yeah, I see the resemblance. Sorry, big guy. Store's closed. Huh? Paul! What are you doing? Master Shifu said to take the scroll and leave the village! Yeah, I know! But Dad said there's no secret ingredient to the secret ingredient soup! So, well, I think I really am the Dragon Warrior! Uh, that's good. Glad that said it. So, what now, Dragon Warrior? I gotta get back to the palace and Master Shifu! Uh, okay. Then those ships are going to be a problem. Ships? What ships? Right! Be right there! Huh? Oh yeah! Get ready to feel the thunder! Cause the Chosen One has crossed the river. Uh-huh, that's right! <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, hi. I was just, uh, gathering my, uh, chi. Yeah, good idea. Oh, the path to the palace has been destroyed. I'll clear you another one past those ships behind the water tower. Water tower? Hey, we can use that to sink both of those ships. One, two, bang, done. Hmm, not bad. Okay, meet me when I give the signal. First, I'll have to take care of those archers. What archers? But how did you... Don't leave me hanging, Master Monkey. <clears throat> Not bad, Paul. Not bad.
The legend of the Dragon Warrior is ancient and epic. It is shrouded in mind-bending eternal mysteries and legendary kung fu teachings from the awesome masters of the ages. Uh, it's also the only one where really good noodle soup plays a critical role. Even with all that, the Dragon Warrior still struggled to believe in the universe, in the prophecy, and in himself as he faced his greatest challenge. Give me the scroll. The Dragon Warrior has taken the scroll. It's halfway across China by now. You will never have that scroll, Tai Lung. Hey! Never. Ah. Whew. Stairs. Paul, ah. what are you doing? Let him go. Ah. Who are you? Uh. Haven't I... Buddy, I am the Dragon Warrior. You? Him? He's a panda. What are you going to do, big guy? <laughs> Sit on me. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Nah, I'm gonna use this. Swipe a guy's scroll? <laughs> Finally. Now, to embrace my true destiny. There's nothing. You don't get it, do you? What? Ultimate power doesn't come from a piece of paper. It comes from within. You can't defeat me! You're just a big fat panda! I'm not a big fat panda. I'm the big fat panda. The Wu Shi Finger Hold. You know this hold. Then you also know that the hardest thing about this hold is cleaning up afterwards. <sighs> Shifu didn't teach you that hold. You're right. I figured it out myself. Skidoosh!
The prophecy has been fulfilled. Yay, Paul! Dragon Warrior! <laughs> My son is a kung fu genius. It's been said the Dragon Warrior ultimately found his way when he chose to look in the right direction, inside himself. Even the Five saw it his way. The hero wasn't the only one to find his way. Master Shifu is now at one with the universe. Or meditating. Or taking a nap. Or something. Master Shifu looked almost kinda happy. It was a little scary. But with Tai Lung defeated and the village at peace, the Dragon Warrior could now join his master in his meditation. Some say that he achieved inner peace that night, others that he fully embraced his destiny. But all agree that he underwent a significant transformation. Luckily, he had a change of clothes on hand. Yeah, that is awesome! But there was no time to bask in the glory. For there were still wrongs to right, innocence to protect, butts to kick. Truly the stuff of legend. Uh, but that's a another story. <laughs>